Hey guys, welcome back. Classic Duff here. This is episode 2 of MC Eternal, featuring a space update. And look, space. We made it. We did it. Awesome. No, we're quite a wee while away from space, and uh, not rushing. we got plenty of stuff to do. Make this awesome bone sword. Which sounds even cooler than it actually is. And we're going to... Wait, what is that? Climbing rope. Like, can you climb that? Wait, I think you can. Wow, I didn't know that was a thing. That is cool. I mean, I don't want to make that right now. I want to make a bow. But that's, that's nifty. Wow. I mean, we probably should make one of them. But no, I'm not going to. Let's take our furnace with us, we might need it. But when we left off, we were running away from an angry looking dude made out of rock. And I expect that he's just chilling down here. Somewhere. Yep. Yep, okay. Alright, uh, this was a bad idea. This is still a bad idea. He's uh, tough. Right, can we sneak up on him? Got this. Got him. I wasn't worried. I was not worried. At all. Alright. continue. Hopefully, then we've got all this ore we can't mine. Hopefully there's going to be some bone ore shortly. We can get some armor because we're taking a lot of damage from everything. We're just going to die extremely fast and not get anything done. Some more torches that we got. These are grenades. These are grenades. I'm, I'm gonna hold on to that. It could be very useful. I, know, I just I would really, really like some bone ore. Could really be just quite nice. I mean, it's got to be here somewhere. Right? Just hiding. Just hiding around the corner. Uh, The sooner we find bone ore, the better. Uh, hmm. Okay, alright. What, what do we got down here? That's. I mean, that looks safe and fun. Let's get back up. I don't want to go too far. Uh, just because I don't want to have to walk too far to pick up my stuff. Not that. Not that we're gonna die. We've proved we're perfectly kept by not. By not. That's not enough. Shouldn't have made the sword. Shouldn't have made the bone sword. What about up here? This must be where all the bone ore is hiding. Yep. Mm hmm. Yes, this is. And we're out of torches. Oh dear. And I need to be... I've only got one sofa left. Okay. This expedition is going... Oh, perfect. Could not be going any better. Oh, we got heaps of wood. I thought I was almost out. I just can't see. Chuck you down. We'll get a. Oh yeah. And now we'll, we'll take this. Oh, and we got five levels. Don't get to spend it. We can get oh, five percent damage reduction. Five percent not dying. More something words. Six 
that's 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 enough to make some armor. We could make a hat or some boots. I feel like the chest plate's just nicer to get. Okay, is there more? I saw more blue stuff. I couldn't find enough of it before, and now I can't find it. Okay, okay, all right. I heard another rock dude. See, so just uh, you just stay over there, mate. Ah. Uh, They do take more damage from bone. Okay. 18 bone. We should make some bone armor. We should quickly make... And some pants. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's a bit of armor. We have four little armor icons. That means we don't die anymore. So we're now champions of the between. Speaking of being champions of the between ends, I believe that is the rumbling of of the morning time happening. Let's just pop up here, process some of this some of this ore that we got. Maybe get ourselves a couple of extra bits of armor. And I think we need to get some more food. And we've got our awesome snail farm. Probably breed some snails if we've got some more sludge. We do. Maybe farm some more sludge. Might be a good idea. Let's put down our sulfur furnace. Ah. I think you can burn wood. Yeah, burning wood's a thing. Yeah, perfect. Ha, huh, had me worried. And then I think we can go get some more loot. Oh, that's silly. That's silly. We need rubber boots. We need rubber boots so we don't get stuck in the mud anymore. If that's the case, then the first armor we want to make is going to be... Let's not put torches all over the house. We want a helmet. That's the first armor. We also want a bucket. And that's... nope. A between lands bucket. Ah! Oh, why did I think that took the blue stuff? Because I am smart. Assume it's a lead rib situation. Lead wood bucket. I mean, a couple. I think we want a couple of these. Got some more wood. We got some more wood. Let's just get another. Uh, oh, okay. That's fine. Let's just get a couple of these. What you do with these is you stick them on these trees and they fill up with rubber. And you can make rubber boots so that you run over this without this happening. Which is going to be extremely handy because it's quite difficult to get around the between ends. As well as that, I think we've got enough for, for some armor. Everybody will be scared of us now. Unfortunately, you can't make like a, a blue stuff sword. Samurai? I think it's Samurai. What we can make is some shears, which are very handy. Uh, I mean, there's lots of drink in there. We'll put this in here. Alright, we've got torches. We've got a grenade. We don't need dirt. Some planks. Slimy bone ore. Alright. Nice. I feel like we're going to be waiting a while for that. Let's take our shoes. And can we find some stinging nettle? And I will show you how to get stuck in the mud instantly. I will show you some of the best early game food in the between lands. By far. Now, you do have to alternate which food you're eating. You can't just keep eating the same thing over and over. Maybe you can alternate, like, some cooked, not some cooked leeches, not leeches. I don't think you can eat them. Ah, uh, they eat you. 
probably between like cooked snail, cooked fish, melee fish is a little harder to get. Frog's legs you can cook. But these mushrooms and these mushrooms combine in a wee wood bowl with this stuff. This this plant over here with the white flowers and also the plants near it without the white flowers. So these are nettles. Ah, uh, you, you stand on them, you take damage. Can't eat them by themselves. Can make a nice nettle soup out of them. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Alright, and there's some snails over there. I mean, we've got our snail farm, so these ones are just wild snails. We don't, don't want them uh, interfering with our, with our farm. They, they gotta go. Nice, five more riddles, an extra point. We're good, we're away. Nothing can stop us now. That's a big tree. Wow, I think, I, did I mention we could have lived in a big tree? That's, that's the big tree. We might live in it. We might, we might move. I'm not gonna do that now, but we might move. Alright. Right, we got some food going on. Let me get this cooked up. Once once I find where I put my house. Hmm. I see torches. That's where we put our house. Okay. Alright. We're good. We're good. Grab some more mushrooms. Okay, that was, that was cool. Need some more reed, might be good. And let's, let's make some of this food. So, we get some bowls, this in the middle. We have brown mushrooms and our Black hat mushrooms. Look at this. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's actually it's actually pretty decent. The only problem is the fact that you can't see the same food over and over. I don't know why we jiggled a bit, but we did. Let's just put this stuff in here for now. Let's check some of this food in there. Cook up a frog leg. Can make a hat? We've got a hat. We could make boots. No. Because. We're gonna get some rubber boots. Is this finished? I don't think it's finished. I think it stops. The top bit stops coming out. Alright, we're gonna have to wait for that. Awesome. Oh, some more burn ore. Right there. You know, just in case for some reason we lose uh, all our stuff. Which might happen. Ah, oh, we're gonna breed the snails. Let's do that before I forget. Nope, that's. yep. Now look. Wait, shouldn't there be more snails? Shouldn't there be another snail? Is that you? Did you escape? Maybe escape, maybe our snail farm isn't quite big enough. We'll, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Okay, ship some food. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at all this. Let's dump off some junk. I don't need to. Ah, I mean, we might get stuck in mud. Let's take it. Uh, we, we've got better food than that. This can just. I'll, I'll sort this out later. I won't make you watch that. We don't need that. We're gonna have we're gonna have rubber boots. Like now. Is it rubber boots time yet? It's night time. That's interesting. Really wish it was daytime. It's still it's still it's still doing its thing. Yep. Well this seems like a great opportunity to create a new team so I can 
look at the quest book. Oh look, look, we just finished a quest. So when you normally start off, you'd be starting off around these quests here. You wanna you wanna turn these ones in. It's like this one that gives you a free bucket essentially. Uh, some random loot. Uh, and then once you've got that one, you can also get this, which gives you like some leather armor. But since we're starting on the Twin Lands, we start with some coins and and I'm not gonna use whatever this is, luggage. I'm not gonna use that yet. I wanna stick to stick to between land stuff. A weedwood log. I feel like we can get a weedwood log pretty so we don't need to. There's no more stalling, this is finished. We'll deal with this other stuff later. I hope these give you more than one rubber. I'm pretty sure it's pretty sure it's four rubber. This stack? No, of course not. Come on, more than one rubber. I can't wait. It's so exciting. We got. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, brilliant. It uses the bucket, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh, awesome. Just put you in there, you in there. Put on our rubber boots, and let's walk on some mud. Oh, so good. So good. You know, I'm hoping it's not too dark. It might be. It might be too dark. I mean, the boots aren't going to save us from oil. Are they? Nope. No. They definitely don't save us from oil. Good to know. Now we know. Successful experiment. I reckon we can sneak over here and get this loot. I've got some torches. Got some arrows, that's cool. Check some torches down. Let me get ourselves some cool loot. Wow, look at that. Actually, that, that blue leaf is going to be pretty handy. This here is going to restore our decay bar that I've been ignoring. Uh, it gives you like this regeneration effect. I think you could probably make these potions later on. Uh, not too too sure how the elixir potion system works. These things are kind of cool. Uh, these wayfinders, you link them to a mine min min here. Min min her. I uh, mean her. Min hire. I feel like it's min hire, but I'm probably wrong. Uh, I'm sure I've seen one near the house. Like a like. They're this this color, kind of roundy, little hole in the middle. Now you don't go into that and you can teleport. Oh, okay. Teleport to them. Uh, the drawbacks are it uses experience. And you can only link one one of one of those to one mine, mine her, mine her. And so you need a bunch of them and you need to keep track of them. Which if you're starting in the between ends, you won't have access to name tags. So you can't name them. You also don't have an animal, so you also can't name them. But yeah, better than walking. Unless you cheat like I'm going to, and use your slash home command. In combination with the bed that sits your spawn point, that doesn't let you sleep in the between lands. Uh, I'll anyway, put that near a dungeon, so I respawn near the dungeon all the time. When I'm finished, slash home. And we set my spawn point. It's gonna be great. Not bit much more. I think we got not this one right there. Let's get that. Let's get this plant too. Awesome. What is that? What is that? That's what that is. Okay. All right. That explains everything. Ah, the plant. The plant. The plant. This. Good. Alright, well, since it's night time, let's make a bit of a farm. And now that we know, we can make our delicious stew. Do you 
really want to be walking all around the swamp, finding more nibble, finding more mushrooms. Rinse and repeat every time you run out of food. No, you want to farm it, of course. I lost my house. There's my house. I found my house. Should probably make it more visible. That'd probably be a good idea. Let's avoid the oil. Let's grab the mushroom. And let's pop over here. Let's eat a frog leg, because we haven't eaten it. Yeah, those particles mean you've eaten a new food. More new food you eat, the more hearts you get. Bonus hearts is good. Alright, so you want to start farming. You want to be farming these mushrooms, those other mushrooms. But who's going to push that egg out of the thing and that's escaping. And you want to be farming the nettles. You're going to want a composting bucket. Composter. Composting. Compost. Compost bin. Compost bin. Worth a couple of things. I'll make a couple. Ah, oh, it seems like a waste. We don't have a lot of that stuff. Oh, we need a bit more wood. What have we got? I'm going to do that over and over. If I don't move those torches. Uh, this. I know what I'm doing. I swear. A compost bin. Compost bins go outside. You can pick up all these random plants that are literally everywhere. I mean, I want that to face face not that way. Oh, rain. Lovely. Actually, rain is bad. Experience rain is a bad time. Let's check in some fra fragmites mm -hmm. and some soft rushes. You might want these plants later. Ah, they're going to be useful for making potions. It's actually randomized as to what what plant gives you what thing you need for potions. So what you get and what I get are going to be completely different. I assume like. Some things are more common than others, so you can get lucky and maybe get a really easy potion that's really good. I don't know how it works. And for now, let's just let's just have our farm over here. Oh, you can't you can't do that. So you need to find some dirt. Oh, that's really noisy. That's really noisy. Oh, I wish you could sleep and stop that, but you can't. Space. Just a nice space right here. And I feel like we need to dig up some of this, this deep grass. It's going to turn into, you know, I know, can I turn the rain down? That's a lot. Oh yeah. I thought that's better. Now I'm going to dig up this dead grass. Don't think works as farmland. And we're just going to put dirt back down. There's some actual grass nearby would be nice. Is there any grass? Is this all just lying like a different biome that doesn't have grass? And the grass over there. I'm try and get it to spread over. I like grass. All right. Let's get rid of this mud. All right. Perfect. So get your shovel. You dig a hole. You get the plant you want to plant. You put it in the hole. Eventually, this becomes compost. Well, that becomes fertilizer. And you can put that in there. And then your plant will spread, like just to the adjacent adjacent blocks, now like in a in a cross plus shape. So we're going to do that with with these three plants. 
And let's get rid of this. It's kind of in the way. And uh, let me know I want to do that. I'm going to need a bow. Let's fill our inventory out with some more junk. farm area gone. And I've already discovered that we can't yeah that you can't right click on there. Nice. So that's gonna grow to there. So we can plant something here. No way to feel let's plant let's plant the nettle. That's that's a good one. And now we can plant something here. It's not going to interfere with the other plants. Um, it's going to grow there. Nothing but that would interfere there. And we can plant something... Not there. Plant something there. Yeah. Perfect. And once our compost is ready, which it looks like it's doing some composty stuff. We have a great farm. It's, yeah. Awesome. Oh, we've, we're making headway. We're making headway. I mean, now would be a good time to explore, but... Unfortunately... There's a wrapping up point. That is some poison ivy about to touch my face and damage me. We're doing well. we got a farm going. we got the snail farm. We're making progress. We got our rubber boots. Things are. It, it just grew. That just happened. Yep. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. Alright, guys. We'll see you next time where we're going to be making some more progress through the Between Lands and MC Eternal. This was Classic Duff. You are watching this video. See you guys next time.